It's Patricia and welcome back to our chatty get ready with me uh, today I am actually filming on Wednesday I normally film on Thursday and upload on Friday but I'm filming on Wednesday because tomorrow I'm going to the eye doctor I can't take it anymore if you those of you who are with me every week you know I lost my glasses like a couple of months ago I can't find them I don't know where they are. It is the strangest thing. How, how can they disappear? I mean, I have moved furniture. I cannot find these glasses. Somehow I have overlooked them. I can't find them. But I've been using my older glasses, which are about two or three years old. And they're not quite strong enough. And they're really bugging the crap out of me. They, they really are. And I was planning to go to the eye doctor on in January. But since I can't find my glasses, I'm going tomorrow. I'm like six months early. That's fine. It doesn't matter. I didn't go to the eye doctor last year. So the glasses I lost, I've been wearing for like almost two years. So that's okay. I need new glasses anyway. I see much better with my sunglasses, which are uh, not transition. They are sunglasses. So it's great when I'm driving or when I'm outside, but when I go inside, it's hard, you know. It's just, you guys understand. So anyway, we're filming on Wednesday because on Thursday I will be at the eye doctor. And I'm excited actually to get new glasses. So I've already cleansed my face and put my primer on. And now it's time to get started. So... I know you guys by now have seen my mixing foundation video. I'll put it up here. Well, today we're going to mix foundation again. I'm going to try a new concoction. I'm going to try the um, Guerlain because I've had this a while. I want to use it up. And I am currently using up my Makeup Forever. So I'm going to just mix these on my hand. Put a couple squirts of that Guerlain. And some makeup ever and mix them. That makeup forever is still just a little is a little dark for me. So and this girl on is too light. Okay, yard sale. I had my yard sale. It went okay. I got rid of some junk. Let me tell you, I mark stuff to go. And you know what sold almost completely? All that jewelry I decluttered. My, my decluttered jewelry sold like you would not believe. I didn't make a ton of money. I didn't have any big ticket items for sale. I basically had, you know, just junk. Books and stuff like that. And what didn't sell, we just took to Goodwill and just gave it to them. Uh, and the reason I did that was because we're selling the property that our storage building is sitting on. He was supposed to give us an offer. I talked to him last week via email and asked him if he was still interested. If not, we were going to put it on the market. And he said he and his wife, they got the uh, survey back and that they would be putting in a bid or giving us an offer actually um uh, the first of this week was well, wednesday i haven't heard from him you know what guys i think that guerlain foundation i haven't worn it in a little while i think it's making my nose itch because the makeup forever does not make my nose itch and my nose is itchy isn't that the strangest thing okay i'm gonna um mix my shape tapes now because I don't have the right shade. I'm ready to buy. I saw where QVC had their tart on Five Easy Pay or something like that. And um, I was so tempted just to go and buy um, another shape tape to get the right shade. But I didn't because I'm sticking to my guns, my no buy. I have to use these up. 
and then I will buy the correct shape tape. So, the light is just way too light now. It just does not look good on me at all. And the tan is okay, but just a shade too dark. So, yeah, I can't wear just either one by themselves right now. So, I have to mix them. I do love shape tape, and I do want the, I want the right color, because I do, I do really love it. Let me set my eyes real quick, and then I'll highlight. Use my powder. I'm getting excited about our trip. So far, everything's a go. I don't foresee this one not happening. Thank goodness. Thank goodness, finally, a little getaway. I'm excited about that. I'm going to film, I think I told you, I don't know how I'm going to film yet. I don't know if it's just going to be like, you know, not talking. I don't know if Linda is interested in being on camera. I'm, I'm not a vlog person. I've tried. I don't, I need a lot of practice because I really want to vlog our cruise. But I want to take you guys along with me. I think I need a... Um, some sort of one of those um it's not a tripod a monopod to hold the camera so it doesn't shake i have a vlogging camera i have a canon um point and shoot that um it's not too bad it's not an expensive one but i've had it a while i can use that to vlog with or i can use my phone either one okay that looks pretty good it looks I like this color. I like the how the two foundations are working together. Yeah, it works good. Works good as long as it doesn't itch too bad. It's time to contour. I'm getting low on that one. Got a pretty good dent in this new one, which is not so new anymore, but yeah, got my dent going on. I have a um, webinar today with Royal Caribbean. It's just 30 minutes long. I bought a filing cabinet for my um, home office. And uh, I got it at a thrift store in South Carolina. We drove down the other day. I was going to film it and then I didn't. Um, we, we drove down to the Welcome Center, the South Carolina Welcome Center, because I knew I didn't have time to order brochures for uh, Hilton Head and make sure they come in time before we went. So we're like, let's just drive down to the Welcome Center. It's a 30 minute drive from my house. It's exactly 30 minutes from my house to the South Carolina Welcome Center. That's how close I live to South Carolina. And uh, so we went down and got brochures on Hilton Head. They didn't have a whole lot. I was a little disappointed. I was hoping I could find more things. Because I've never been to Hilton Head. This will be the first time for us to go to Hilton Head. We live so close to Hilton Head, but never really been. I've been um, to Buford a lot, which is in the same county. It's in Buford County. Um, but I haven't been to Hilton Head. So, yeah. Uh, that looks good. I must powder. Oh, I didn't get my powder brush. So we drove down there and just right across the state line, just, is it before or after the Welcome Center? I actually think it's before the Welcome Center. It is. There's the exit for a little town called Landrum, South Carolina. And we always usually stop there. Landrum's a pretty cute, cute little town. But they have a thrift store. And we like to go there. I have found some great deals there before. I found a lounger um, patio furniture. Uh, the lounger that matches my patio furniture. Five bucks. Believe me, I, I snapped that up. Well, I found a um, two-drawer filing cabinet, which I have been looking for. That's been on my radar. A filing cabinet. I was expecting just to get... Um, you know, a regular filing cabinet. And this one is kind of shabby chic. Somebody's redone it 
and it's got these really cool antique looking pulls for the drawers. Um, it's really neat. It needs some cleaning up though and some loving. Uh, it does need to be repainted, but I'm not going to fool with that right now. I just don't, I don't really care right now. I will later, I'm sure, refinish it, but for now, it's good. It was 10 bucks, and so, yeah, I bought it. And so, I think after my webinar this afternoon, I'm going to start pulling the stuff out of my little area of the studio. It's my husband's studio that he gave me a little corner and I'm gonna kinda get it all rearranged and get my filing cabinet in there and get stuff in it instead of having stacks of stuff and files sitting around and get it all organized. So I am looking forward to that but I do have a webinar at noon, it's supposed to be 30 minutes long. They usually are. They might go over a little bit. There we go. There we go. Oh. Anything else? There's not. It's been kind of slow. We got no plans. Um, my niece's birthday is coming up next week. So, we're going to be going to her birthday party. Um, it's pizza and cake. I don't need that. <laughs> so, I think I'm going to stop and get me one of those new Wendy's berry salads without, without the chicken. Just get the salad and take that. Because... I know the pizzas they're going to get are meat, and um, nobody eats the veggie but me. My mother-in-law would probably eat it, but yeah, I'll just grab me a salad and not have any cake, and that'd be it. Um, last Friday, my son and I went and saw The Incredibles 2. Great movie. Disney did it again. It's a great movie. I like it better than the original uh, Incredibles. But you have to see the first one to understand the second one. But I really, really enjoyed that movie. And I haven't been saying that. You know, when I go to the movies, I'm like, oh, yeah, that movie was okay. Uh, I liked I liked the Incredibles. So, if you haven't seen it, if you've seen the original one, I recommend going and seeing the... Uh, the new one is really good. Okay, today I am going to play in this uh, Deca Scarlet, uh, the number two palette. It's the one I just got, and I will show you. Let me get the plastic out. I had to side. I've been playing in it. Oh, good, there's a mirror. I'm going to go into the Peachy King color. Peachy King, and I'm going to put that all over, not all the way up to my brow bone, but almost. These palettes are really nice. Um, are they my absolute favorite? No, they're not my absolute favorite, but they are really nice palettes. And if you haven't seen, I got this from my Scentbird. And Scentbird uh, now has not just fragrance, but you can get um, the Deck of Scarlet palettes. And I got a survey uh, yesterday, an email. And I did this whole survey. And it sounds like they're maybe, or they're thinking about, adding skincare and wellness products and hair care products and other makeup and they asked in the survey would I want to be surprised about what I get or would I like to pick I'd like to pick and I and still be at the $15 mark so I'm excited I hope they do that I hope they do that I'm loving these um, deck of scarlet there's 
I think what I have two palettes I have a third palette coming next month and then there's three more palettes and I'm not really sure I really want those so oh I like that now change brushes make sure it's clean I'm gonna go in to my crease with that mauve color making mauves and I'm gonna put that in my crease it's a nice matte it's one of the reasons I got this palette I like this this matte mauve shade I think it's really pretty I am going to start trying to make shorter videos. Uh, have them not as long. Now my chatty get ready with me are going to be long. Uh, because I'm chatting and I'm telling you everything and showing you makeup and I'm not going to try to shorten these. Because I enjoy these and I know I had a subscriber say they were too long and you know, you can always pause them and come back. Um, or if you're not interested, just it doesn't hurt my feelings if you don't want to watch it. It doesn't hurt my feelings if you don't watch every one of my videos. Because I know every one of my videos probably may not be something you're interested in. That does not hurt my feelings whatsoever. I don't, I'm not one of these people like, oh, you, you need to watch all of my videos. I'm not that way. I'm hoping to make better videos. I'm hoping to make videos with content you're really interested in. Uh, I am really taking suggestions of what you're interested in. Because I really want, I make these videos for me, but I make them for you. So I need to know what you're interested in, what you want to see. And some of you, thank you. There's a handful of you and you know who you are, who always have suggestions for me, and I thank you so much. I might not always remember which one of you said what, and that's just my mind. I need to find, is there any kind of supplement you guys know of or anything to improve my memory? Gosh, I used to have memory like a tack, and oh, I don't know. I think that last um, concussion I had, really, I think it did something. I have the awfulest short-term memory it is just it's not long-term memories it's short-term memories not you know I don't want to say your guys suggestions are not important to me but it's the little stuff that I totally I forget I totally forget like okay I'm sitting here right now and there's dirt in my floor my cat turned over my plants yesterday oh I was so livid Saved the plants. I left the room to get the vacuum cleaner. When I went to bed last night, there's dirt all over the floor. And I'm like, duh. Woke up this morning, there's dirt all over the floor. And I keep forgetting I need to vacuum this floor. It's weird stuff like that. So, any suggestions to help my, to help? What do you think? I think that looks pretty. Okay, next I'm going into Sophia. Look at that shade. Is oh, That is just so pretty. What I'm going to do, I'm going to take that same brush that I used the mauve shade. I'm not going to clean it. I'm going into Sophia, and I'm going to work her in this outer corner and then into the crease. This outer edge and over into the crease. I'm pushing the color over. I'm not dipping in and putting color there. I'm applying the color on this outer and then pushing it over. I need to get those things out Martha sent me. See, I forget about that until I start wiping I start wiping my my shadows. 
I need to get those out, lay them right where I can see them, and say, okay, use this. I'm going to, um, these are blending really nicely, but I'm going to go ahead and grab this fluffy brush and do some blending. Okay, let's discuss where everybody's going on vacation. You guys know what I'm doing. Uh, the Nashville trip, um, I don't know if it's a go or not. When you were dealing with someone with such a schedule, I don't know that it's happening or not. I would love for it to happen, but I don't know. Um, but definitely, I do believe nothing's going to stop us from Hilton Head. And then the cruise is already paid for. Got our cruise in December. So what is everybody else doing? What have you already done? I guess a lot of you have already been on vacation. Any plans? Any fun stuff I want to hear about? Also, um, 4th of July. Anybody have plans for the 4th? We don't right now, but my husband is off. I think I told you last week. He's off long time. The 2nd through the 8th, I believe. I'm taking my um, my little detail brush. Let me. I'm going to zoom you in because I've had some questions about this. Zoom me in a bit. Let me show you my detail brush. This is my detail brush by Royal and Langnickel, and it's called the detail brush. But any kind of little brush like that, I'm going into Sophia and get that on my brush. I've been asked how I do the shadow under my eyes, and this is I just get it on my brush right on the end. You can see that shadow, and then I just go under the lash line. I apply the majority of the color over here and blend it over like that. See? That's all there is to it. Now I'm going to clean out this brush and since I'm showing you this, I'm going to put another color underneath. I'm going in with that peach, a peachy keen. I'm going to grab that on my brush. And I'm going to do it on the inner corner. Just a little extra. A little extra something, something. Okay, I'm going to zoom back. So I hope that helped you. I think Lisa was asking about that. So I hope that helped you, Lisa, to see that. Now, uh, I pulled out something fun. My cover FX, I think a lot of you got this in your boxy charm. The cover FX uh, amethyst shimmer veil. Because these are just not shimmery enough. When I used them the other day, I noticed I like, you know, guys, you know, I like some glitter. I'm a shimmer gal. I'm going to put this on my lid. I'm not going all the way back with it. I'm just keeping it on the front there. Because I do like that. Um, the peach with the purple. I think that looks pretty. I just need a little, need a little shimmer. Need a little something. Nice. Now, liners. I got some liners. I've got Opal Overcoat in Pixie, which is one of my favorite bottom waterline uh, liners. And then I have this LA Girl liner in a purple. And this packaging, I cannot read. I can't read what the color is. It's the purple. So I'm going to get these on and I'll be right back. All right. I like this mascara. I like it a lot. I think I'm going to have to break my no buy and order some waterproof mascara. I think I'm going to get maybe... What's your favorite waterproof mascara? Let me know. The only one I have is that Beauty Big Bang uh, that they sent me. And it's nice. But um, at my sister's funeral, I cried. And I had like these tubes. 
it, they came off in tubes under my eyes and it looked horrible it, I didn't have like the dark you know that kind of crying look it came off in tubes but it still came off and was under my eyes and I'm going to the beach and I want a waterproof mascara but I want a good waterproof mascara so I know the um, the better than sex uh, comes in like a, the, I can get the little travel size or um, I haven't tried the L'Oreal Lash Paradise. That comes in a waterproof. Have any of you tried that? Just give me some suggestions. What do you think I ought to get? Because uh, I need to get a waterproof mascara before vacation. I like this eye look. What do you think? My nose is running. I am so sorry. Okay. I am going to go with this blush. Bob. Bob D. I don't know what kind of name that is. But I'm going to take my, br my blush brush and carefully dab it in so you can see how much color I got on there. And I'm just going to sweep it. Yeah. See, it's not too pigmented in your face. I don't have purple streaks. I just want a little color. I think I'm going to like this. Yeah. Oh, that's pretty. See? It's perfect. That's, that's all I need. Now I'm going to go in with my highlight brush and to this highlighter, which I have to say, out of this entire palette, the highlighter is not my favorite. It's very powdery, and I just don't think it's as shiny. You can't even see that. Because see, my, my, that's natural highlight. And this is where I added the highlighter. See? I just, yeah, I don't, I don't see that it's actually doing anything. I'm going to get a little on my finger. See, you can barely see it on the end of my nose, and I am there. That's packing it on, and it's still not really. Yeah. The highlighter is not my favorite, but I'll forgive it because the rest of that is really nice. Now I am going to switch mirrors because when you use these palettes, I've heard some of you say you don't like them because they're all together and they're hard to keep clean. Well, if you keep that down while you're working on your powders, it won't get into your lips. And then you keep that down while you're doing your lips and it keeps it all clean. So I'm going to now line my lips though. I picked out a liner. That's my brush. Uh, I have got the Jante, Jante Blue liner, lip liner in brown sugar. I didn't realize I had so many other liners. I got two this month in subscriptions, and then I already had a couple, I think, so. Okay, I lined around my lips and filled in a little bit. I'm going to get my lip brush and get into... I'm going to use both of these shades. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to mix them. I'm going to start with brownies, which is the brown color. It looks like melted chocolate. I'm keeping the color to the outside and um, a little bit in the center, but I'm leaving the middle untouched. That's where I'm going to put the purple. Now, purple. The purple is called Plump. And there we go. That's it. That's the look for today. What do you think? How do you think it turned out? I think it looks pretty good. 
I like that deck of Scarlet palette. I do. Well, I want to thank y'all for joining me today. Um, I love these chatty get ready with me, so thanks for joining. I asked you a lot of questions today. Where are you going on vacation? Ideas for videos? Uh, best uh, waterproof mascara? Leave me all kinds of info down below. Uh, if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. And if you're new to my channel, please subscribe. I would love it if you would subscribe. And if you're new, your first time watching, please leave me a message down below and just said, hey, I'm new. I'm watching you so I can welcome you personally. If you have any questions or comments, leave them down below. I asked you a ton of questions. So just leave the answers down below. And thank you all for watching. And I will see you guys next time.